Hi there, let's check out what's new in AnyType Desktop version 0.46. First of all, we have a couple name changes. Sets are now called queries and relations are now called properties. And in previous versions, we used to have a triangle icon here and that was for relations. That is now changed into this uh, bulleted list icon. And let's click into it and see what we have here. We now have a panel just dedicated to properties. And so you can see that with this book type, uh, these are all the properties that are attached to it. And if you go all the way to the bottom, we have a couple more groups here. We've got a hidden group. This one is really just to hide properties because like for this, it's so long. And then I have a group called local. And so you can see here, I have this one called year published. And this one was only put on this specific object for wool. It's not attached to the object type. And so that is kind of a big difference in this update to have properties on the type level instead of the object level. So let's click over here to edit types, which maybe it'll make a little bit more sense. So here we're editing the type. We also have a layout um, that would apply to all of the types. And then we have all of these properties as well. So down here where it says found in objects, um, I do have that year published. So again, that just means it's only on this object. If I wanted to be part of the book type, every time I make a new book, I would have to move that up. So let's click over here on the three dots and select add to the type. And so um, it's gonna just ask you, this property will be added to the type and will appear in all objects of this specific type. Is that what you wanna do? Yes, select add. Okay, so now we've seen that it moved up. Let's click save over here. And then if I um, go all the way down, you'll see that I no longer have that local group anymore. The year published is now displaying here as part of like all the other properties. Okay, so another thing that has changed with this update is templates. And so let me show you where to find the templates. This is in the header of my object. If I click on it, it gives you the menu for open type. And on this screen, we have uh, templates here. And so you can add a new template here or you can edit the existing template. And that is just for the object. Another option is like say on collections. We also have templates here, and so you can make a template for a collection. This is to kind of to save you time if you use kind of many views over and over again. You can create a template and that would, you know, save you a little bit of time whenever you make a new collection or a new query. Another place you can find templates, since we no longer have the library, is actually in your space settings. So go over to your space, click on the title, and then here under content model, we have object types and properties. So this kind of replaces what we used to have as a library if you are, have been using any type for a while. And if you scroll all the way down here to templates, this is every template that is in your space, both for collections, queries, and objects. And just a quick note, templates will only work for new objects. Applying templates to existing objects is a highly requested feature, but it's not yet available as of this 0.46 update. The other thing I wanna call out is, let me go back to books. Um, so right here, there's a new icon. If I click on that, it says, objects may have layout settings that differ from the type, including featured properties and alignment. You can make this layout identical for all objects of this type. And so it gives you a button for reset to match the type. So again, this is part of the greater movement to connect your type as the main way to have consistency across your space. Um, if you select this, you will get an error message. You will get a warning message that just says, make sure you really wanna do this because it's going to reset the layout type, alignment and features properties for all objects of this type, this action cannot be undone. So be very careful with that. And since we're here, let's get into the quality of life updates. There are new minimalistic icons, but they're only for type. So let me go back to this edit type. And if you click here, 
you can find the new menu here, but it doesn't have emojis. Um, hopefully that will change in a future update. Let me go back out one step. I'm still in my space settings. If I go to general, we have a new setting called auto create type widgets and you can toggle it on or off. Let me go back out to um, one of my objects. So now I'm back onto my uh, widget sidebar menu. If I create a brand new type, let me call this one TV shows. Oop. Apply. Um, so now TV shows is a new type. And once I create the first one, widget TV shows has been added. And you can see now in my sidebar menu, it automatically made a widget for TV shows and the new objects that I made shows down here. Okay, now let's head over to the vault settings that is down here in your gear icon. And under language and region, we now have choices for week starts on. This is for your calendar. You can choose from Monday or Sunday now. And if you haven't noticed yet, um, the settings have also been redone with the user interface. We no longer have a pop-up window. We now have a menu here on the left side and a full screen settings on the right. Okay, let's head back to the widget sidebar. In a previous version, we used to have all objects that was also part of this same area. It has now been separated, which means great news. If you don't use it, you can remove this widget completely from your sidebar. Something else that was not obvious to me initially was with this new sidebar, you can see we have a plus icon and like the options over here. I was wondering where did the expand and collapse arrow go and I couldn't figure it out. And I was like, wow, this must be a bug. And then I was just hovering and moving my cursor around and then I realized, oh, it's hiding under this icon. So in case you were looking for it, um, the expand and collapse for your widgets is hiding underneath this icon just to the left of your title. And then another quality of life update is in the graph view. So let's go to our graph view. And here uh, under the settings on the right side, we also now have filter by types. You can now toggle on and off depending on what you want to look at in your graph view. Okay, and one other thing I wanna show you is, let me go back out to here. So on the text editor, there is a new shortcut that I think is really useful. It is double brackets. And so that will pop up with your objects. So you can actually um, select from that menu or you can just start typing. Let me redo that again. So brackets and you can start typing, narrow down the object you want to link to and it will show up like this. Now it does show up as a block. So if you want to change that, you can go to preview and you can change that to text. When you hover over it, it is a block. If you wanted it to show up as inline, you can still use at and it will show up inline and you can still keep keep writing. Okay, I did not cover everything. So please check out the link for the full release notes for version 0.46 in the video description.